Hello chess lovers, I have a fantastic game for you played by a chess master and a retired professor of physics, Leroy Dubek. He was president of the US Chess Federation from 1969 to 1972. His opponent is Eric Dalebone and the game was played in 1971 at 72nd US Chess Open. Bone started with e4 and c5 by Dubek, Sicilian defense, knight c3, d6, g3, white goes for the closed Sicilian, knight c6, bishop g2, g6, d3, white is going for this king's Indian attack type setup, bishop g7, bishop e3, knight f6, Queen c1. White is going to exchange the dark square bishops, but usually instead of playing queen c1, white is first playing h3, controlling the g4 square, not allowing knight g4, and only then queen c1. But instead, after knight f6, we see queen c1, and now black plays knight g4. Dubek wants to exchange the knight with this bishop. Bishop g5, bishop d4. Attacking the pawn on f2, knight d1, protecting the pawn, but of course the knight on d1 looks very passive. c4 and overlooking white's next threat, Bon played c3. If only he knew what trouble was brewing. A better move was capturing on c4, there's nothing wrong with d takes c4. But instead, after c4 we see c3, and now comes a stronger response by Leroy Dubek, knight e5 sacrificing the bishop. Of course now white can't capture because of this knight takes d3 check forking the queen and the king. After knight e5, white first played bishop f1, covering the d3 square. Nearly all white pieces are lined up on the first rank, poor white pieces. But now comes c takes d3, sacrificing the bishop on d4, just a fantastic move. Bon accepted the sacrifice and there it goes, the knight jumps to d4 square, threatening knight c2 check. f4 a desperate move, trying to kick away this knight, but there it goes, knight c2 check. Dubek is landing the first punch, king f2, knight g4 check. King g2 and knight e1 check. This knight is occupying the king's place and feels like a king. Someone give him a crown. King h3, knight f2 check. Black cavalry is chasing white king. Come on guys, king h4, h6. Trying to open up the h file and just smash this white king. Bishop f6, a desperate move and g5 check. F takes g5, e takes f6. A better move was capturing on g5. If king takes g5, then queen a5 check. But probably this was the move that Dubek missed. Instead, after f takes g5, he captured on f6. g6 trying to keep closed the h file. But now comes f5, discover check. King h5, f takes g6 check. King takes g6, rook g8 check. King h5. Rook g5 check, king h4, f4 and believe it or not, but finally Eric Dalebone resigned. Black is simply threatening a discover check and then checkmating white king. For example, if a move like queen takes f4 then rook e5 check followed by queen takes g5 checkmate. Fantastic is an overused word, but this game was truly a fantastic one. Of course, these knights are just monsters, guys. Look at these knights. And of course, what is more important, we saw not dubious moves by Dubek. If you enjoyed this spectacular attack, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.